G'day everyone, I just read the DP review, uh, uh, well it's basically hardware of the year and really it just shows how well Sony is actually doing at the moment and I'm going to take you through this in a second but boy have they done well and when you think the last camera that actually came out was 10 months ago and we're looking at the A7 III, um, it's incredible what they've done and it's really exciting like I, I've said all along if you're shooting a Sony there's no better time ever to be uh, shooting uh, with cameras uh, they really have got all of my needs met at the moment and I think okay, I just can't wait to see what they've got coming up in the future with the A7S 3 and the A7000 probably going to be announced very very soon but let's look quickly over uh, at the DP review and they've come up with a couple of things here. Camera of the year was the A7 III, and I'm going to talk about these in a minute. Um, so the A7 III was the product of the year, uh, and I think there's probably no other camera can touch that, but I'm going to talk about the, these in a second. Uh, the basically best point and shoot was the RX100 Mark V, Mark VI, I should say. Um, the lens... Uh, or the zoom lens of the year was the Tamron 28 to 75. Now that's not Sony, but boy, uh, what a fantastic lens that is. Um, it really is just an amazing lens. And another lens that I will probably get fairly soon once it's in stock is the uh, Sony GM24 1.4. Um, really, if you look at it, they've scooped the pool, really. I mean, it, it's just incredible. I'm going to leave this article down below so you can have a read of it. But um, I... I completely agree with them. I've never seen anything that quite matches what the A7 III gives you for the uh, dollar that you're actually spending. Look, my favourite camera still is the A9, but boy, this comes a close second. And if I wasn't probably shooting professional like I was, this would be the one I'd definitely go to. It's just got everything you need. It's just got amazing video. It's got amazing autofocus. You've got the dual card slots inside. The battery lasts all day. Uh, it's got great video, you've got great log profiles for this, uh, you can do 4K, uh, it really has everything you need apart from doing 4K 60p which will probably be on the next uh, cameras that are announced but really you just can't beat this. For the money that's actually out there I've said all along I definitely believe this is the best fusion camera in the marketplace today. It's got stabilization on the camera so I can hold, hand hold this while I'm doing wedding uh, photo video, uh, photography and then all of a sudden just press the record button and start shooting video handheld and that footage is, is actually good enough to use in my fusion videos. Um, it's really just got everything. You've got great short keys on this camera. It's just amazing and I just love it to death just like I love my A9. And it's interesting because I had the Tamron lens on this actual camera itself. This is the, probably my favourite lens that I've got at the moment. I just adore this and it just doesn't come off either my A9 or the A7 III when I'm doing weddings. I still use prime lenses. I'm still using the um, 35 1.4 and the 85 Batis and the 70 to 200 on the other camera. But this sits on one camera. It's also an incredible... Uh, lens for um, gimbals because it's very very light and it's got great autofocus it focuses just like a Sony lens it can be updated in the firmware through the camera just like a Sony lens can the the close focusing on this lens is just amazing as well it really is outstanding I mean I can do the details with this often I don't even put a macro on the camera anymore I can shoot so close with this and it's just a great overall or all-around lens the color is really uh, beautiful and vibrant it's incredibly sharp particularly in the center and I really do love this as well it's it's just a great uh, lens and I'm not surprised that that got zoom lens of the year as well. The 24 I haven't got yet but I will be buying that sometime in the future when it's in the uh, shops available. I'll just wait until that's it's in a shop and I can just walk in and get one. That's also an incredible lens. Very very light. It's got the same uh, 67 I think it is uh, millimeter um, lens mount at the front or mount at the front so you can stick on the ND filters so they can share between these two lenses. Um, Really beautiful and light, uh, gorgeous rendering, the bokeh looks beautiful, 
uh, incredibly sharp and like I said it's, it's very very light as well and that's probably another lens that I'm going to buy uh, particularly to stick on my gimbal and I'll, I will be using that with say the A7S III when that's announced coming up soon as well. Uh, the only other thing that was announced was the um, RX100 uh, Mark VI. I've got the f version 5 because I wanted the ND filter built in but the Mark VI is also a fantastic camera. Just can't talk about that much obviously because I haven't got it but overall I just wanted to share with you how lucky are we sh uh, Sony shooters that we've got this gear that we have now and basically when you think about it that's 10 months old and it's been given the best camera of the year over say these new cameras that have been announced it just shows how advanced uh, and how much uh, Sony think into the future and I just can't wait to see what they're going to announce in their next videos that's all for now bye guys catch you in the next video